Well, good morning again, okay? There is a marker here. It's called the Tri-State Trail. And you see that there's off to your right, I should say left, the trail going towards Rhode Island. And off to your right, the trail goes towards uh, Rhode Island and Connecticut, okay? <laughs> now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you on the map where exactly you are. The state was kind enough to post this. And they, too, are using a topographical map. It says, you are here. Awesome. And it's relatively flat terrain. Now, not too far down, you're gonna, we're going to run into uh, the state of Rhode Island. <laughs> And then I'm going to take an easterly direction. So that's the next step. Like I said, just following directions. Okay. I'm just going to go up here. This is all kind of... I haven't been here in a number of years. And it looks like it's been cleared out quite a bit. So let's go up onto this rock here. And again... All of these stone walls indicate that at one time this was all farmland, and it could have been hundreds of years ago, too. Okay. We're right there. It's a little pine needle. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, let me get out my handy dandy compass. I bought another compass, but I forgot to take it with me. This here is just like my. Uh, go-to compass, so to speak, okay? Now I'm going to orient the map. Like I said. There. It's a little off-center, but there's a reason for that. Like I said, magnetic declination. All right, the, the actual magnetic pole is several hundred miles to the, like, southwest of the true north pole. So... Knowing that, I want to go this way. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, when I use my compass, I'm going to make sure it's pointing north. And I'm going to take a direction on the compass. See, that's what a compass basically does. Oh, and you can see how it glows. So if I want to go to the tri-state marker, I want to take a direction of about 280 degrees on my compass, and that should put me right on it. Okay. 